To park their cars in the same spot in the garage every time they enter the garage, a lot of people hang tennis balls from the ceiling on string. It makes a docking target or a parking target where when you pull in, you drive your car until the ball hits the windshield and that allows you to stop in the same place every time. But that means there's a ball hanging from the ceiling. Always. Well, as you know, we don't play like the other kids here. To solve that problem in our garage, we made it so that our docking target levitates. The solution, of course, is to move the ball out of the way when it's not in use. So I went and looked at Arduinos, microcontrollers, stepper motors, things like that, to try to figure out how I could move the ball up and down. Then I realized I would need sensors and so on and so forth. And it, it became a lot of effort just to move a ball on a piece of string. And then I thought to myself, if, if only we had something in the garage that moved up and down when the car was coming in and out, what could something like that be? The garage door opener is just the servo we need for this task. All we need is some fishing line or other similar string, some screw eyes, these are some small ones, or you can use larger ones, it doesn't really matter, and then a target of some kind. We're using tennis balls. Acquire these items and you're good to go. Most of these items are available in something called sporting goods sections of big box stores. I am mostly unfamiliar with such places, but after a little searching, I found what I needed. The first step is to screw a screw eye into whatever it is you're going to use for a parking target. Now, we used a tennis ball for hours, but uh, that's just to make it easy to film. You can use other things. You can use model airplanes, R2-D2s special family heirlooms, really whatever you want to dock with, it's up to you, it's a personal choice. In real life, I use a Bono's barbecue sauce bottle. Why? Well, because Bono's barbecue is one of the greatest barbecue places in the world. Once your screw eye has been screwed into whatever you will be using as your parking target, tie one end of your fishing line or whatever string you have to the screw eye. You will end up with a parking target that swings freely on your string. That's what we need. Next, take your two screw eyes and pry them open, as you see here, so that a string can pass through the gap. Just a little gap is all you need. Once you're done with those steps, it's time to go to the garage. The first thing you need to do is clear out the area around your car so that you have room to set up a ladder and work overhead. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull your car in and park it where you always want it to park. We like to put the car as far to the back door as possible so that the front of the area is clear. So you're going to pull your car in just barely enough to clear the garage door. Then you're going to take your tennis ball. Pull your car into the garage, taking care to place it exactly where you want it to be parked every time. Do not park like this. With your car in place where you want it, climb your ladder and drop your parking target down from the ceiling. Your parking target, in our case a tennis ball, should rest on the windshield of your car just above the steering wheel. Make a mark on the ceiling at the point that the parking target is directly over that spot above your steering wheel. Put everything down so you don't fall off your ladder Climb back up and screw in one of your screw eyes into the ceiling where you made your mark. Go back down the ladder, get your parking target, and go back up and put the string through the gap you made in the screw eye earlier so that your parking target hangs straight down from the screw eye. Take the other end of your string, go to your garage door, and tie it to the top of the door. As you tie that string in place to the garage door, make sure you pull your parking target all the way to the top of the ceiling. This ensures that when the garage door is closed, your parking target is retracted all the way to the ceiling and not hanging down in any way. Okay, so the tennis ball is hanging up here on the screw eye. The string is coming off the tennis ball going over to the garage door. We're all set, right? This is all ready to go. 
no, this isn't gonna work at all. This is broken. You see when it, you know what? I'll just show you. I can assure you that our SUV is not this short. We've got a lot of slack here, so this isn't gonna work. So how do we fix this? <laughs> That's what the second screw eye is for. So we need to figure out a way to get rid of this slack in the line. Well, the garage door is gonna help us again. You see, it, it comes into the space in this direction, a horizontal way. So if we take the string, which I know you can't see because it's fishing line, and pull it back past the garage door, the slack is taken out of the ball. So what you do is you take your slack and you pull it back until the ball is at the level you want, and you take that second screw eye and you put it in the ceiling, just like this. And then you hook your line there. And so it goes from the garage door to this screw eye to this screw eye and down. When the garage door opens, it will take up that slack. We'll show you some graphics here in a minute to explain this better, but that's how you make it work. To put the second screw eye, first, pull your car back in, even though the ball is hanging too low. Then get up on your ladder and pull that string back over the top of the garage door. Pull the string back over the garage door until your parking target ends up right where you want it over the steering wheel. Screw your second screw eye into the spot on the ceiling you just discovered when you pulled back that string. This is the location you'll need to take up all the slack for your garage and car. Once you have the screw eye in place, hook the string into it by passing through the gap you made in the screw eye earlier. You are now done. Now here are those graphics I promised earlier. This is a fake garage with a car that we drive from time to time. Note the location of the garage door and the two screw eyes over the car. Now we hang a tennis ball on some red string that you can actually see this time. It's tied to the garage door just like in the example earlier. We only use one screw eye like we did in the first step last time. And you see here that when the garage door is open, the tennis ball goes way down below the level of the car. You can see here that if we pull the red string back over the top of the open garage door and put it through the second screw eye, it takes up all the slack and the tennis ball now rests exactly where it's supposed to rest, right on top of the steering wheel on the windshield. With the string going through both screw eyes, we can close the garage door and the tennis ball retracts all the way up to the ceiling. And when we reopen the garage door, the garage door helps us by taking up the slack and the tennis ball is right where we need it. We now have a retracting parking target. See how it works? This whole thing is about that second screw eye. Get that in the right place and you've got a retracting parking target that will serve you well for the rest of your life. Now it's time to see the whole system in action. There you have it. The parking car kit here on the windshield puts us in the same place every time. The car is as far back as we can get it in the garage, which gives us plenty of room in front. Every single time the car is going to be in exactly the same place. And when we close the garage door, the ball goes up out of the way. It's like magic. Pulling into the garage now feels like docking with a spaceship. Hey look, NASA uses docking targets just like us. Well, that's our retracting garage door parking target. Pretty easy to set up once you know the trick with the second screw eye. It's really easy to do and it's really cheap. Actually, I shouldn't say cheap. You probably have thread, fishing line, tennis balls and stuff laying around your house. So we're gonna go ahead and call this one free. Uh, you can do this free. Why wouldn't you want retracting parking targets when it costs you nothing? Go build this, you'll love it. It's so much fun to have this thing come down out of the ceiling and greet you as you come home. And if you're wondering what these red rotating beacons are that go whenever we open and close our garage door, well, that's part of our garage door sensing system that tells us if the garage is open or closed. And we covered another video called the Alderon Shard. Click on that link and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff how we wired the garage to do other things. And don't forget your barbecue sauce. That's important. 
Thanks for watching this video. We sure did have a lot of fun making it, and we really do use these docking targets all the time. They're fantastic. Go build one. But if you like this video and the kind of stuff we do, subscribe, ring that bell down there, and check out our other videos. We got some really cool stuff, and we're always building more. But for now, I'm getting back into the shop and I build more stuff, and I'll see you next time.